This obelisk is known to uh -oh. the Freemasons, uh -oh. the Freemasons who built the capital of this country. Almost all important places in the world, like the Washington DC, the Vatican, and yeah. so many other modern places that we're talking about. They have obelisks, them, yes. by the way. They have the mo there is, there was even an attempt. Yeah, there, there was even <laughs> there an attempt <laughs> to bring the obelisk from all the way oh, from Egypt. Right. This well, was, they have one at, at the Vatican. Correct. They have uh, uh, St. Peter's Square. Yes. In as, Paris. Did, it, did I do that right? My fact check that. All of these, this obelisk that is sitting right in Washington, D.C. Right. Was brought all the way from Egypt. Okay. People spent money on Months this. Months journey to get it Correct. there, Correct. It's too. such a risky affair to bring a big And it piece didn't of. crack in half and they didn't break it. We're not sure. Something yeah. happened to this and they put it on a hold. Mm. That's why this is oh, not the center of the obelisk. It. Right. I watched a whole a big um, documentary about this, and okay. there, there's something that's behind this that happened, that they did not use this as the main obelisk, and they decided right. to build an all-new obelisk. Right. So we, I, I don't want to get into that. I'm just trying to tell you why obelisk sure. is important in any culture that's being started. One thing I always wondered, if there's such a fight against all these old ancient civilizations being connected, then why are the people that are in power so obsessed with other ancient civilizations and their obelisks and taking their right. stuff for themselves? Right. Like, if we're not going to admit that there are similarities, then why are you connecting with, why do you want this obelisk in Washington, D.C.? That's such a legit question. Right? We'll never get an answer for. Never. Yeah. So... Well, and the whole Washington, D.C. is a pyramid structure. You would right. still see the ponds that I'm talking about. Uh -huh. You would see the whole uh, pyramids sitting inside a square complex. Oh, Everything is there. And this is also Lincoln right Monument, by the river. Lincoln Monument, Jefferson Mo They're all monuments. Right. And they're all temples. Right. And the ge geometry of how those the streets are laid out. Correct. And where the Capitol is and the White House. And it's there's um, six-pointed stars, five-pointed stars encoded into all the roads. I mean, you can look it up on Google Maps and see just how all those crisscross. Correct. I'm just throwing this example for yeah. people to go and do their own research. Mm -hmm. Look at how this is right, sitting the right Pentagon. by the river. Yep. This is also right by the river. Absolutely. So I'm just the saying Hudson. that this is a known information. Everybody <clears throat> knows Earth. this, but they're just keeping it away from right. us. And some of the other things that I'm talking about Atomic. in this, like in this uh, um, similarities between these structures. Well, go back to that one. Yeah. This what uh, was, um, sweat lodges. And ponds, and how certain temples are dedicated for medicine. Mm -hmm. How the Native Americans also use these mounds as the place where shamans practice all the medicinal things. Sure, and herbs and, and plants. And correct. They did everything to do with medicines right. in this place. This place also acted as a seed bank. When I went to uh, Serpent Mound, I discovered that all the mounds are like are the center of places for farmers those days, where farmers the Native American farmers come to this place to get the seeds from there. This is where they take the seeds from during the spring equinox and plant them and get the yield out of it. Right. These seeds, they say, are charged seeds. Right. They are charged with so much of energy that they will produce so much yield, they say. Right. The same thing is happening in and India. Supposedly they grew massive plants. Correct. The massive yield is double. fruits and and right. Ross Ham our friend Ross Hamilton talks about that in his book Star Mounds where he thinks that, you know, they were producing this mana, this energy source with sort of all the earthworks and mounds and were pretty much like a, a giant circuit board to send energy to different temples and different places. Correct. And um the the seed bank is interesting because they're aligning it to the equinox, which is when you're going to plant, and then uh, the spring equinox, and they're also aligning a lot of these places to the fall equinox, which is the harvest. So it makes sense that you would go to one place, hey, everybody's got to meet over here at the Miamisburg Mound or the Serpent Mound or wherever it is, and we're all going to get our seeds, and then we're going to go plant. So, and you're saying in India, there's temples that have seed banks. You were talking about that earlier. Correct. That's and like the primary thing that they do on top of the the temples or the pyramids that we're talking about. This place is where they say and that's the, the upper left-hand image on this slide here. Correct. And what what is that temple called? 
This is called Mahabaleshwar Temple. Okay. It's in South India. This is just one of those 10,000 temples that you would find in India. Sure. All of them serve the same purpose. This is where they save the seeds. This so many times get hit by the lightning. There is a specific type of metal wow. that they use to build this. They call it the Kalasa mm. in Sanskrit, Kalasam in Tamar. This is, where, this is one of the most important places because this also act, act as a lightning, uh, lightning uh, arrester. Right. So, and this metal gets charged so much, this sells for millions of dollars. Mm. People rob this, even wow. to this day. Um, nobody knows if it's true or false, that they have magical powers, but people are ready to pay millions of dollars for just this piece of wow. metal. This is where they store the seeds.